This film would be completely impossible without a Red Dragon. Our relationship with NASA started with our TV show. So we, we produced Jonathan Bird's Blue World, which airs on PBS across the country. And we try to go and do stories anywhere that's underwater. We've filmed in lakes and rivers and the ocean and even pools. A lot of people don't realize how much astronaut training is done underwater. We needed to come up with an idea of a film we could do for the full dome theaters that combine what we love to do, which is underwater, with what they love, which is space. So Space School will be released in planetariums, or what are now being called full dome theaters, all around the country. There are 500 of them in the United States. We're talking about this immersive experience with a dome film. And the dome film, you are literally sitting within the picture you're taking. The perfect analogy is the red camera actually becomes your avatar. It sets you inside the scene. You have incredible detail and you get to look and experience the scene as if you were actually there. The workflow of this camera is just fantastic because we move quickly, get it in and out of the housings, shooting on land. And I was just amazed at the detail and everything about the camera and the way it looked. I mean, it's just perfect for this project. As an underwater cinematographer, I love the fact that Red has maintained the same brain for every model. So it doesn't matter whether you have a Scarlet, an Epic, or a Dragon, they all fit in the same housing. The Dragon was critical to this project. Full dome theaters project in 4K by 4K. For a full dome film, you don't actually need to cover the back part of the dome because everybody's pointed this way. So you can actually get by with about 3K on the vertical. But to get that on a 16 to 9 sensor, you really need a 6K camera. It can't be done with a 4K camera. It can't be done with a 5K camera. It has to be a 6K camera. We had to put the project on hold until the Dragon was released because that was the only production camera that was going to exist in the world that could shoot this film.